Just like humans can get the flu, so can our four-legged canine friends. Like people, they get the flu and they don't feel good. Veterinarian Vanessa Selger with the Fitzgerald Animal Hospital in Colchester says the virus is passed from dog to dog. Once they have that virus, um, they can get secondary infections, get really sick, be tired, depressed not eat well. And in worst case scenarios, it can be fatal. Selger says canine influenza is spreading in parts of the U.S. And while it hasn't reached Vermont yet this year, vets in the Green Mountain State are no strangers to seeing the symptoms. We did have an outbreak a couple years ago and I guess about 500 dogs had the infection. As a precaution, experts are encouraging some dog owners to consider getting their pooches vaccinated. So that's a vaccine that's given once and then boosted and that protects against um, some of the strains. Um, so there are a lot of strains similar to people. You know, it's always kind of changing, um, but we do have a vaccine for one of the strands. They're specifically recommending the vaccine for dogs who spend a lot of time with other dogs. So since it's something that is transmitted from dogs to dogs, basically by coughing or nose to nose contact, things like that, um, if your dog is in a situation where he is having uh, interactions with a lot of other dogs, such as boarding or kenneling or grooming, then it's definitely something to consider. Selger says you you can't get the flu from your dog and you can't give it to them. But she says to keep an eye out for symptoms as both people and pets head into peak flu season. In Colchester, Liz Streppa, NBC5 News.